This is a bedsheet fabric I bought from the market. I'm trying to take measurements so I can cut out the bedsheet and then make pillowcases as well. This is a beginner's guide to bedsheet business in Nigeria. If you're thinking of starting a bedsheet business in Nigeria, then this video is for you watch to the end because there are lots of things to be learned as a beginner starting bishop business in nigeria hey, welcome back my superstars and if you're just joining us you are welcome today we'll be talking about bed sizes and their perfect bishop we have different sizes of beds by like superstars and we also have different sizes of mattresses okay the number of fabrics you use to cover the mattress determines if the mattress will be well covered or if it will leave some parts covered and some parts exposed okay so in order to know the perfect fit that will cover your mattress very well you need to know the number of yards of fabric that is perfect for each size of mattress okay so in this video i'll be telling you the different sizes of beds different sizes of mattress and the number of bishop fabrics that will sew the bishop and the pillowcase effectively and you have a perfect fit okay so you won't sew bishop for a customer and the customer will call you and tell you oh it doesn't it didn't fit well my bed was not well covered okay it can be very very annoying and painful okay so to avoid this i'll be telling you the perfect number of fabrics you need for your mattress for different sizes of mattress all right let's get started well before we do i'm with our city here i talk about businesses you can do online and offline to make money so if you love this kind of content please subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell for notifications whenever there's a new video all right let's get started first you need to know that we have different sizes of beds we have single bed we have twin size bed we have king size bed and we also have queen size bed okay next you also need to know that we have different sizes of mattresses okay you place the mattress on the bed what determines the size of the bed sheet is not the size of the bed is the size of the mattress okay so we have different sizes of mattresses we have three by six we have four by six we have six by six we have um uh, six by seven and we also have an half seven by seven okay all these are in feet that is three feet by six feet we have four feet by six feet we have six feet by six feet we have six feet by seven feet we have seven feet by seven feet okay so these are the different sizes of mattresses we have available out there so what determines the size of your bed sheet is the size of the mattress. All right, so now I'll be telling you the number of fabrics that will cover each of the sizes of mattresses effectively. Okay, so let's start with the single bed. If you lived in the hostel, carry up your hands. Yes, I lived in the hostel and the bed commonly used in the hostel is the single size bed with dimensions of three feet by six feet okay this type of bed is used in hospitals if you've been to the hospital and you've not lived in the hostel then know that the size in the hospital is also the size in the hostel okay so three the width is three feet while the length is six feet okay so for this type of bed what you need is three yards of bichette fabric you use two yards to sew bichette for the bed and one yard for the pillow Okay, for this type of bed, you need just one pillow, but with one yard, you can produce two pillows. So you use one for the bed and keep one as spare. All right, my superstars. The next is the twin size bed. The twin size bed has a dimension of four feet by six feet. That's four feet width and six feet length. Okay, so for this type of bed sheet, you need three and a half yards okay so you use two and a half to produce the bedsheet and you'll use one yard to produce two pillowcases this type of bed needs 
two pillowcases because it's two and two it means two okay so you need two pillowcases all right so you need a total of three and a half yards to make your bed sheet and your pillowcases next is our six feet by six feet mattress okay that's it has six feet uh, width and six feet length for this type of mattress you need five yards of bed sheet fabric three yards will go for the bed sheet while you use two yards to produce four pillowcases this type of bed can take about three pillows so you keep three pillows pillowcases and then keep one as per all right so that makes four pillowcases all together and three yards for the bed sheet so you need five yards all together to produce a bed sheet and four pillowcases okay so next is a six feet by seven feet mattress for this type of mattress you have six feet width and seven feet length okay if you notice the length is longer so it means we'll be using five and a half yards of bed sheet fabric we use three yards for the bed sheet itself and then we'll extend the length of the bed sheet by half yards okay so we we'll use three and a half we we'll use three yards for the bed sheet extend the length by half yards that's three and a half yards altogether for the bed sheet and then we'll produce four pillowcases with two yards of bed sheet fabric that's making it five and a half yards all together to produce the bed sheet and four pillowcases okay let's the first stars next is our seven by seven feet mattress okay it has a width of seven feet and length of seven feet for this type of mat mattress you'll need three and a half yards for the main bed sheet okay you'll use three and a half because the width is uh, seven that means it has you have to extend the length you use three and a half for the bed sheet and extend the length of the bed sheet by half yards so to produce the bed sheet all together you'll need four yards of bed sheet fabric but for the pillowcase you need four pillowcases so you use two yards to produce four pillowcases so all together to produce this type of bed sheet you need six yards of bed sheet fabric to produce this type of bed sheet and it fits perfectly okay my superstars all right so have you given me a thumbs up have you liked this video if you have not please take a second and hit the like button and if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell for notifications whenever there's a new video all right so i've mentioned the different types of mattress sizes and the number of fabrics that will fit effectively nevertheless we have mattresses that are very long in height they have very high heights okay and they are suspended for those type of mattresses it might require a customized type of bed sheet okay you could buy this bed sheet and it won't cover to the floor or i know that you need a customized type of bed sheet all right we'll take that in a subsequent video but so far i've told you the number of fabrics that will fit each bed sheet size effectively okay so if you have any question please leave it in the comment section and i will get right back to you okay so before now i had done a video on different bed sheet fabrics available in the market so if you've not seen it i'll leave the link in the description box please go and check it out and I'll also link it in the video towards the end 